You know, it wasn't until I was in the darkest point of my life that I discovered my true passion and my calling. I lost my kid sister when I was uh, 21. She died on her 18th birthday in a car accident, and um, we were really close. Her and I had a really great relationship, and uh, losing her was the toughest thing I've been through my whole life, without a doubt, far and away. At first there was denial, I just, I couldn't believe she was gone. It, it was so shocking to me. And then there was anger, I was mad, you know, why did, why her? I mean, why did this happen? And, and then there was just numbness, depression. You know, I stayed that way for a long time until one day I was in a bar in San Francisco and I just felt overwhelmed and needed a, a breath of fresh air. And I walked outside and I started running. I ran 30 miles that night and it forever changed the course of my life. I first ran in the cities. It didn't matter if it was dark, raining, cold, whatever. I loved it. And for the last 20 years, it's all I can do. You know, I honestly never expected to make a career out of running. I'm hardly what you call the natural spokesperson. I think a lot of people, you know, they, they might think I'm kind of weird, and maybe I am kind of weird, but in group settings, I'm sometimes really uncomfortable. Uh, it's overwhelming to me, and I can be very quiet and to myself. By nature, I'm, I'm most natural, you know, running off in the mountains on my own. If I woke up tomorrow morning and I couldn't run, uh, that would be the end. That would be devastating. So here I am today. 51 years old, with no intentions of ever stopping. And to maintain my endurance where I want it to be, I can't just run. I gotta train my ass off. As I've gotten older, as an ultra marathoner, uh, I don't recover as quickly as I used to. Uh, my speed is definitely nowhere where it used to be. I guess I'm, I'm most scared of becoming irrelevant, not having a, a place where I can you know, carve out a living doing what I love. There's so many things I love about running. To see it as the ultimate freedom. Slapping on a pair of shoes is a very simple act, but it's explicit in that regard. You know, if I hadn't run out of the bar that day, I would have missed so much.